Hey guys, The Jungle Explorer here, and today I have a special video for you. What you see in front of you is the Reolink Go PT Plus 4G wireless security camera. Okay guys, so let me tell you a little backstory for why I'm doing this today. Okay, two things. One, I've done a lot of trail camera reviews in the past, and you've seen those. Now, I don't do those for the Jungle Explorer channel anymore. Uh, I've created a new channel separately just for those, those product reviews, which is called Nothing But Gadgets. Please look in the description of the video to find a link to that channel if you want to continue to see those. Okay, today though, this is a security camera, and um, I have long been thinking about this because I actually run real link security cameras on my house. Now I bought these of my own accord because I just saw how good reviews real link has. And so I bought um, several of their solar uh, Wi-Fi solar powered re uh, security cameras to run on my house. And I've been using them for well over a year now and I have been thoroughly pleased with how they work. Um, it's, from start to finish, real link is a quality company. Um, and so I had not contacted them. Reolink actually contacted me out of the blue because they saw the installation video that I did on the Jungle Explorer channel for those cameras and said, hey, how would you like to review some of our newer product? We have a 4G security camera. Um, would you like to do that? And I was like, cool, because I have been thinking about those security cameras that I use. And I was like, man, I wish they were 4G because I would love to put these out in the field in place of a trail camera and use them for wildlife viewing. Um, and so when Reolink said, hey, we've got a 4G model, we'd like you to review it. I was like, hey, I've got the perfect plan for you. I'm going to use it as a trail camera. What do you think about that? Reolink loved the idea, sent me the camera. So that's what we're going to be doing here is doing using this out in the field. Now, there's two things about this camera. One, it's 4G, which means it can you can use it anywhere you can get cell signal. That's great. But also, it is, hold on, let me get it back here. It's solar powered, okay? It comes with a solar power. So you don't have to run electricity to it. So literally, I can put this anywhere and have a security camera. And also, this is not a stationary security camera. It can, be, it, it can move. You can control it. All right, so say I'm going to set it out there and say a big deer comes up and it's not standing right in the right place. I get a notification on my on my smartphone via the Reolink app and then I can take control and watch the animal and see what it does. So, I mean, that's what I'm thinking it's going to do. That's what I'm going to try to do with it and I believe it's going to do it. But you know what? I always test things, so that's what I'm going to do. Put this out in the field, test it come back and show you what it did. I'm really excited to see the results. I hope you are. Hold on, I'll be right back. All right guys, so I'm back here ready to put this camera out in the field. I had to take a little break because um, I got really sick with some type of uh, upper respiratory bug. Uh, I tested neg negative for COVID, but um, you know, whatever it was, it, it knocked me flat on my butt for a while. And also the holidays were here. But in the meantime, I was able to, uh, to get this nice free sims card from Elliot Club which was kind enough to send me this with 300 megabytes for free so I'm going to try this out this is a internet of things card not a mobile data plan uh, basically it's a pay-as-you-go system uh, they have different types of plans you know as low as ten dollars for two gigabytes for a month and a uh, hundred dollars for 24 gigabytes for 360 days uh, they have a lot of different plans you can choose from on their website. Pretty simple to use. It comes pre-activated. Just plug it in and you're ready to go. And then you add more data as you need it. So it's pretty cool. So let's go ahead and put the Sims card in. And then we'll put this baby out in the field and get it to testing. So the Sims card is going to go right here on the bottom. So just turn this up like this. Okay. And then you can see it says Sims card top. I'm going to turn this over. Sims card top. Um, a micro SD on the bottom. Now the car camera already comes with an inserted uh, micro SD, so that was already included. So this is going to be the nano sims. So it's going to be the littlest one right inside there. So we'll just pop that little thing out right there, and you can see that it wants us to put it in. Let's say this way, I believe, if I'm reading it right. I'm reading upside down, 
so that you can kind of see the way it looks. It's got a little shape there, and I think I've got it right. So, I've got no fingernails. I've filed them off. So hopefully I can get this in here. I'm going to use the corner of the card to push that down in there. All right, so that's in. Okay. Now, once we've got a Sims card going in, now let's go ahead and uh, power the device on. Okay, so we it should automatically set up. Come on. All right, now we're going to switch the little switch right here to the on position by sliding it over, and let's see what happens. Set the camera up now. I've already pre-charged the camera, so the light should turn on. And in a bit, once it powers up, we should get a voice prompt. Network connection succeeded. Okay, so the SIM card is active. It's already connected to the network. Now we have to add the camera. So you're going to need to download the Real Link app from the Apple Store or the Play Store. I already have other Real Link cameras, so I have the app installed. Okay, and let me get back out of my two cameras here. So I have these two cameras here. Um, and so what you're going to do is just hit this little plus symbol up in the top here. Okay. All right, now turn your camera over. There is a QR code right on the bottom. We're going to scan that. All right, so it's going to uh, connect to the device. Actually, I need to put the antenna on here, so. This will help its reception a lot. I had forgotten to install, to install the antenna. Okay, so you're going to need to create a device password. I'm going to go ahead and put mine in that I use for my cameras. Then you're going to need to name your device. I'm going to call this uh, 4G Real Link. Cam. All right. So 4G Real Link Cam. Hit next, select outdoor. If you're going to use it outdoor, it's a 4G camera, so I assume it's going to be outdoor. Next. And then this just has some information that you can read along here about different things. Okay, so now we have the 4G Real Link camera installed here. And let's see if we've got a connection. It's connecting there. There we go. Got it. Let's go to our control. Wow. You can see the camera right there. Side to side. You see my other light, my workstation there. So works really good. Now let's go ahead and put this baby out in the field and get some good images of some wildlife. <laughs>
Okay guys, so I'm back and you just saw the footage uh, from the camera that I captured over the last couple of weeks. Uh, you know, a bunch of little pigs, some deer, one coyote, stuff like that. There wasn't a whole lot of animals that came by, mostly just this little herd of pigs, especially these little baby pigs that uh, that were coming by quite often, then a few big ones and stuff. But at least you got to see that the camera worked, um, how it looked in the daytime, nighttime and stuff. And now I want to talk about um, the things that, about the camera, uh, things that are not shown in that video. Okay, so first, let's talk about the app. Okay, so the camera's still in the field. So all I've got is the box here, just to kind of give you that idea. So let me just go straight into the app here um, on my phone. So I do a lot of testing on different security camera systems. And I want to just come right out and say, up front that real link the real link app is the best on the market that i have tested i haven't tested everyone but as far as the ones that i have tested it is the best okay let's jump right into the app right here on the screen start that up and um okay let me get back to the main screen this is where, where my cameras now these are solar powered cameras and because they're solar powered they don't stay connected all the time if they were powered by, uh, you know, the, the grid power or something like that, then they may stay connected. But because they're solar powered, they don't stay connected all the time. You have to connect to them. Now, this one here is a Wi-Fi camera that I have set up on a feeder. Um, and I have my phone set up on cellular data right here. So I'll play it over cellular, you know, um, as if I was on the road. Okay, so there, and you turn it, it'll, it'll go to landscape and... There's my feeder in the background, and there's nothing at it right now, but, um, you know, it works really good, okay? So that's that camera right there. Now, this one is the 4G camera, and it's out there still in the field. I'll just click on it. We see that it says connecting here, loading stream, and there we have it right there. So it's uh, now pointed backwards at the forest. I had it pointing towards the fence, and now it's pointing backwards, but there it is right there. I can uh, just easily turn it around if I want to turn it around. There's a little bit of a time delay, and it does have quite a bit of motion blur whenever it's in motion. So you got to kind of stop it about a couple of seconds before you want, but there's the trail going out. Uh, I can tilt it up just a, just a bit here. There you go. So it lights up there. So it kind of gets that whole big area there. Um, it works just flawlessly and boy, I tell you that a lot of apps are just not that good. I'm going to exit out of that so I don't use too much data. The little Sims card that I put in there that had 300 megabytes. After two weeks, I still have 150 megabytes left and I've been doing a lot of testing and stuff with it. So it's very efficient on data usage. Now, what I want to talk about here is the app itself and the camera. So let's go into the settings menu. Okay. So it has an extensive uh, options with uh, settings here. Uh, you know, you can set your PIR motion, your camera record time. Uh, you can put a schedule on things if you want to, when you want it to record, when you don't want it to record. It even has person and vehicle and other type detections. So if it sees a person, it'll say person detected, or if it's a car, it'll say car, vehicle. If it's something else, it'll say other. Um, so it just has a lot. It's easy to work. It works really fast. Um, has what's called post motion record here, which means that uh, one cool thing about the security camera is as long as there's something moving in front of it, it will continue to record for as long as something is in front of it. And after that motion stops, it will continue to record for another eight seconds. That's what that means. Post motion record duration. So that really is actually better than a trail camera, which you set for a certain amount of time, say 10 seconds, 30 seconds, a minute, whatever. Um, this one only records as long as there is something moving and plus eight seconds. So that's pretty cool. I really like that feature. Okay. Um, but I do want to talk about some things. Now, if you notice here, it's at 93%. I've been doing a lot of testing. Um, when I put it in the field, I actually was only charged to 40% and it's been cloudy and it's the where the solar panel is is actually not in the full sun. It really gets mostly full sun in the you know from about two o'clock till five o'clock. So it's getting about three hours of good sun a day. Um and it stays fully charged. It's up to 93% because this evening I've been doing a lot of testing on it and we've had a lot of animals around it. 
Uh, but every day it charges up, and even though it's been cloudy for two or three days, it's still at 93%, so that's really awesome. Okay, uh, I want to go to display and show you some of your quality options. Okay, so this is your quality setting right here. All right, so it's right now set to the 2K setting, but let me show you something about that. Okay, so it only has an option for 2K. It, it doesn't have an option to reduce it down to, say, 1080p or anything like that. Now, frames per second, it's a maximum frames per second is 15. You can reduce that down to 12 or 10. And um, that is one of the things that I kind of don't like about it. I wish it was a higher frames per second um, because there is a little bit, that, that's where we're getting that motion blur because it's just the frames per second are not fast enough whenever there's movement. And that really affects the nighttime video performance as long as the animals are moving slowly or they are still, they're really good, but if they're moving fast, there's a ghosting effect that occurs. And that's a result of that 15 frames per second. Now, um, the one thing is, is you can change your bit rate. Now, this is the video that's going to be recorded to the SD card, and I'll explain that later. Okay, that there's a different video that you're gonna watch over the, your internet connection, because this is too big and it would really eat up your data. This camera films in 2K, and you have to get that 2K, you have to take it off the SD card directly. Um, but it also has another quality setting, okay, which is this one right here. Okay, this is what you see when you see the samples, when you view the video via the, the app, uh, via your mobile connection, you view it in 360p, not 2K, it's 640 by 360. Um, it also has 15 frames per second, and you can choose your bit rate. Now your bitrate settings on both the, 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 the full quality and the fluent quality is going to really determine how clear the de definition is. The, more, the higher the bitrate, the better def definition you get, and the lower the bitrate, the less definition. Basically, the grainier the video is going to be. It's set to 380 bitrate, which is actually pretty low, but this is your compressed version. So what the camera does is when it senses motion and it records a video, it records it in high quality, and then it produces a low quality video copy so that you can see it over data and not use a lot of data. And, and that's why even after two weeks in the field, I've only used 150 megabytes of data. Okay, so that is really cool. It's, say, it's a big, big data saver and helps the camera not use as much data. But the, the videos that come out of the SD card that records are the full quality. They're, two, they're 2K quality, um, and I've got it set at maximum uh, uh, bit rate, which is 4,096, okay? So you can adjust those as you need them, okay? And if you need to save more data, you can do that. All right, so it's in live view here. Um, it has a bunch of different settings. Uh, you've got your, if you want, this right here is day and night. It's set to auto. You can do it set to black and white or color, but I, I leave it on auto there, okay? So you've got that. You you can change. You can actually change where the camera name appears on the, the screen. You can change where the date and time, the watermark, all that. But one critical thing that I really like about the app itself is that it has email alert. This is where Reolink really sets itself out apart from the other um, security cameras that I've tested. None of the other ones that I've tested have email alerts. And you're like, what is that? Okay, let me just show you here. Okay, so Gmail is free, right? You can get a Gmail account for free. And that Gmail account comes with 15 gigabytes of free storage, okay? So what I do is, what I've done is I've just literally created a Gmail account just for my, my real link security cameras. Okay. All right. And I get these alarms sent to here all day long and it stores a picture. Now you can have it send a video sample. I'm going to go ahead and down, download that. Hold on. Okay. So there's the picture. Okay. So this is showing one from my feeder just taken a little while ago. Okay. So I've got a deer out there by my feeder. You can see that there, okay? All right, so at, this is a way to store your images and it sends a small little image file to your email and you don't even have to access the camera. Um, and so you've got a permanent 
record of what that camera has taken. So I have the different cameras set up here with different names. This one is from, okay, so here we go. This was the last picture it took not too long ago. Okay, and it was a coyote, all right? So we have a coyote on screen there. All right, so I'm just using uh, this free uh, email app called K9 Email and a free Gmail account. And see, Reolink is the only security camera that I know of that has the option to send out email alerts, okay? So that's one key thing that makes me like Reolink. Um, why I would go with them. Now, pu push notifications, what that is, is basically like text messaging. So whenever the camera senses something, like if something walks in front of the camera right now, I'm going to get a notification on my phone, just like a text message, except that it's going to sound like an elk bugle. Um, that way it sets it apart, lets me know it's wildlife. It's going to come on and do an elk bugle. And, and, and what's really cool is, is if I hear that and I get on my phone immediately and open the app, I can actually see the animal. I can see the animal and I can actually follow the animal with the camera. So not too long ago, earlier this evening, um, that actually occurred. And there was some pigs around the camera. And let me go ahead and load this here. All right, so let me go back and see where that was. Okay, I see it right here. Okay, let me pull this up. Okay, so you can see there's the pigs right there. And I'm following them. I'm moving the camera around, watching them as they walk. Let me go backwards here. Let me do this one here. Okay, so here you see me moving the camera. There's the pigs. They're kind of moving through the trees there. Because of the little bit of time delay, it's not always easy to get it precise. But I'm watching them as they're coming across here. Okay, they're right there. And now I'm going to move over to the side. And so I'm literally watching the animals walk around. Okay, and boy, that is something you just can't do with a trail camera, buddy. You're not going to get that with a trail camera. You can do this, but this is where the security camera, this real link, just really shines. Uh, so that was really cool. Um, if you have those push notifications enabled, um, that's what you can do is you get that notification and then you can um, just log on and follow the animal and watch it and stuff. So those things are all really cool. No power needed, totally solar powered. Um, you know, if you have Wi-Fi, you can use the Wi-Fi cameras. If not, you can, uh, they have the 4G option. Uh, all that's really great. Um, there's really nothing negative about this setup uh, that I can think of. Everything has worked and performed flawlessly. Takes a little setting up. You know, you got to set up an email account if you want to do the, e the emails, which I really like those because I actually check my pictures first. And then if I see something interesting, then I log on and watch the video. Okay. Um, but, um, you know, it takes a little setup to do, but it's a very easy app to navigate. It's, it has no glitches to it. The only thing that could be improved is that frame per second, because at night, if an animal is moving really, really fast, you know, just kind of walking fast, um, there's what I call a ghosting effect where the animal looks almost semi-transparent because the frame rate um, is not really fast enough to follow at night. Now, it doesn't seem to do that too bad in the daytime, but you saw as I was panning the camera around, it just, it gets kind of blurry and that's just a frame rate issue. Um, maybe that's just a limitation of the camera uh, or the way it's set up or maybe a firmware. I've actually written Real Link about that and asked them to provide a solution for it, so maybe they will. But other than that, this camera, bar none, um, the Real Link cameras, both the Wi-Fi and this 4G, are the best security cameras that I have ever tested. Um, as I said before, I bought my two first Real Links of my own just based on the reviews. Um, and they sent me this one to test um, because they saw the installation video that I made for them. And I'll probably be doing some more in the future. Um, and you know I, you know me, I'm very honest about that products um, in my reviews. It doesn't matter that I get them for free because, you know, like I said, I'll buy them. I, I can afford to buy my own stuff. <laughs> I don't need to get things for free. Um, but the thing is, is I really like this camera and I like, I'm going to leave it out there. Now I'm probably going to go back and take some camo tape 
and cover up the white so it's just not I mean because I'm kind of afraid that somebody sees this white camera they're gonna steal it <laughs> you know of course I'm gonna catch them <laughs> one thing they may not know is how to turn it off and if somebody steals it literally it's battery powered and go for days so <laughs> I literally can watch them and uh, I'll get all the footage on on them no, no matter where they go so anyways uh you know but I hope nobody steals it but I'm probably going to go camo it up with some camo tape just to kind of make it less obvious because it kind of sticks out like a sore thumb um one other side note here is that the the IR LEDs on this thing are not no glows okay now my animals uh they are not affected by that because I run trail cameras all the time and so they're kind of used to the IR, IR lights they're not no glows I'll throw up a picture here to show you what they look like. So they're very visible, but the you know animals once they get used to them, it doesn't bother them anymore. So that's one thing that uh, you know if they that could be improved on it. it would be a little bit better for more skittish animals in a wildlife viewing. But as far as I am concerned, this is the way to go for trail cameras. Okay. Forget the stupid, you know, trail, 4G trail cameras because I've tried several of those and I have lots of hunting buddies that try those trail cameras and they all complain about how they work and stuff and none of them can come close to working like this for the price, okay? None of them have apps that work as smoothly and seamlessly and you can turn them around and follow your animals and, and all that stuff. I mean, it's just, it's crazy uh, how bad trail cameras are just the firmware problems are constantly updating them I know guys that have to constantly go to their lease to do manual updates and stuff So um, that is not the case with the real link security camera. It's a well-established company and it has good products Okay, guys, so this is a really I was excited to do this because I knew it was going to be a good uh, a good test and like I said, this is more of an invention than it is a product review. I already knew the camera was good because I have the other cameras, so I'm not really reviewing that. What I am showing you is how you could benefit in your wildlife monitoring with taking something that's intended for a security camera and using it as a wildlife monitoring device. It is just fascinating to be able to watch the animals and get those videos live, get the images and all that stuff. And, uh, you know, never have to go out in the field and, and get the card unless you want the pure raw footage like I use for the review. You don't even have to ever go out there. You can see everything you want. And uh, there you go. It never, no power, no batteries, anything. Never, you know, no double A's. It's all done. It's all taken care of. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and, and, and it really helped you and the thought you found it interesting. If you have liked it, please like, subscribe, and comment. And, you know, guys, help me out. Share my video. My, my, my channel's actually been suffering here lately. Um, YouTube's been really pushing YouTube shorts, and I've thrown a few out there just for fun. But, um, I yeah, I've been losing viewership. So uh, if I'd appreciate it, if you would share my videos and send me some more viewers. Okay, guys, I appreciate it. And Happy New Year to you. Until next time, this is the Jungle Explorer signing out.